Hello, good evening, and welcome. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, so here's another video that uh, I'm doing, but this time I'm just really going to concentrate on ViewNX. I've just been messing around with um, ViewNX, <clears throat> and uh, just wanted to show you something. I'm sure there is a perfectly reasonable explanation as to what I'm about to show you. I don't know what it is, but it's quite effective. So um, I'm going to pop my CF card in. You're going to see what I effectively do when I import um, photographs uh, into my system. So I've my card is now pushed into my external SanDisk reader. I'm going to bring this. If I can bring this over, come come over. Right. So hopefully you'll be able to see um, the import dialog for uh, Nikon Transfer. And um, actually, the only things I'm interested in uh, are these particular photographs. So this button here, this kind of double-ended arrow, if you click it once whilst everything is selected, re completely removes the arrow. So nothing is currently selected. So I want to take that one to that one. Uh, that, that, those are the pictures that I want to transfer. I'm going to put a tick in them so it clicks them all. Put a tick in all the ones that I've selected, and then it becomes a case of where do I actually want to uh, to put these photographs. So little drop down box. Um, I know I want them in my extern one of my external hard drives uh, called Foliage and Flowers. So I'm going to click that, but otherwise it would simply be a case of browse, and then it opens up a browse window, and then it you know you just tell it where to to put it. I have um, I have my all my images stored on several external hard drives. And uh, yes, you can rename it over here. I'm actually going to turn that off. And I'll, I'm simply going to just sec select transfer to, uh, sorry, start to transfer. What I'm going to do is going to get my video software up and just pause it. So I'll see you in a second. Right, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> so I've put them into uh, my one of my external folders. Um, F drive, QI for quite interesting, uh, and then the subfolder of that, Foliage and Flowers. As you can see, I'm, that's where I'm currently at at the moment. So I'm going to just simply scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, till I get to the pictures that I've just brought in. Now I have got two screens, but I've switched uh, one of them off so you can see what I'm doing here. And these are the photographs from here on in that I uh, that I effectively want to process, but I'll do all of them later. Um, for now, I'm just going to concentrate on this one for a particular reason, but it works. This seems to work on um, most images, people included, although you do have to be a little careful with the people in terms of what it's going to do to their skin in terms of saturation. But um, So I'm going to double click this to reveal this particular photograph. And you can see it's got a quite a green hue to it. Uh, and that's simply because I'm using a profiler in my camera, either a D300 or, as I'm using here, my D200, <coughs> called Uni White Balance. So if you go on to something like dpreview.com or just do a, a general internet search for Uni, U-N-I, W for White Balance, B for Bravo, or W for Whale, or White, or whatever. Um, Uni White Balance, and it will talk to you about you know, there's lots of different reasons why people will and, and won't be using uni white balance but anyway I do I like it I'm used to shooting this way but it does mean when I get into my um, post-processing I'm always shooting raw that all of my images have this um, sort of uh, peculiar horrid green color cast it's also another reason why when I'm shooting people I never let them see the camera I'm always just telling them how beautiful they look uh, not necessarily that they've got this hue of the Hulk around them or on them anyway so here we are we're at this um, this photograph so the first thing I do if I've shot a white uh, sorry if I've shot a grey card like my Weibel card I'll use that as the reference point to which um, you know I'll, um, I'll white balance this particular photograph but um, this was simply in my garden it's a bloody tall weed and um, I, I photographed it as you can see here this is the uh, flash gun that, that's illuminating from the background um, this particular weed uh, D200 uh, using Nikon CLS system, but Canon have got their own, and so you use the same thing. But let's first start by um, correcting the the white balance. So I'm going to go over here. This is ViewNX free download program for uh, Nikon users, and uh, honors all of your in-camera Nikon in-camera settings. And uh, I'll just start by using the automatic, and 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 that'll do, frankly, to start with, because uh, you know, I don't want to keep this uh, video going for too long. 
Then I come down to have a look at the picture control. As you can see, I've created quite a few for different things. But for now, I'm just going to stick with uh, the ones that come with the software and uh, come in uh, with the, the newer editions of the, the Nikon cameras. And I'm going to stick with Vivid. <coughs> I'm going to use Vivid. You can see it, it brightens everything. Now, from the keyboard, bear in mind everything else is set flat here. Um, if I press the letter H for Hotel, what that's giving me is a highlight warning. These are the things that are blown out. If I switch to using the S for Sierra key, um, the image turns white other than any coloured spots, anything that's coloured in here other than, than white, and some would argue that white's not a colour, but anyway, um, that would show you where uh, everything is printing to uh, black and, and, and all the shadows are blocked up. So go back to H, and what I'm going to do actually here, the first thing I'm going to do, um, because I'm not, I'll H again to reveal, re-reveal the picture, I'm not bothered about um, adding more light to this particular photograph. So you'll understand what I mean at the moment. But let's first of all deal with the highlight or the, the things that are blown to white. Now you've got this highlight protection. You can use that. Bump it all the way up and see what happens. But it doesn't get rid of it all. So I'm going to bring all that back down again. I am going to go to the contrast and move the contrast backwards. Interesting, eh? So the highlights, nothing is now being revealed as having been blown out. Although it still looks like it there, doesn't it? But let's go further. I'm actually going to move it all the way back to, let's say, 50. If it's you and your image, play with it to wherever it looks okay to you. I'm not doing anything with exposure. White balance we've already set. We've put a picture control of Vivid. I've uh, The only other thing that I've done now is move the contrast back somewhere into the negative numbers. Here's what I find quite interesting. I'm going to take the brightness and I'm going to move it into the negative numbers. Until I like it. Now what I'm looking at predominantly here are these pieces here because it's creating a sort of a, almost a natural vignette. Though for my eye it may be a little too dark here. Now if that is the case for you uh, you've got shadow protection here. I'm going to click and drag to the right just a little bit till it's at the point where I'm quite happy with it. So that from uh, a washed out green image, yes, I'm not suggesting for a moment that this is a work of art, but if we press the letter H for hotel again nothing is blown out. We've controlled the highlights. We probably do have a bit of blockage of the shadows which you can see down here but frankly S again to reveal the picture. Not really bothered about that so much. I mean you can add some more if you wanted to to reveal them yet you know a little bit more and then the blockage is gone. Bring that back till it just starts to appear. which in this image is uh, a number of 30. Yours will be different. Press S again to reveal it. See, I like that bottom corner a little darker, so I'm actually going to deliberately put the uh, the image back. And it is creating this sort of natural vignette. But, like I mentioned before, press the letter H for hotel. Importantly, the highlights aren't blown. And I've reintroduced contrast. I'm going to press the letter H again to reveal the picture by darkening the brightness. Um, it doesn't seem to work the same way if you play with the image first of all by doing the white balance then the picture control and altering sorry then contrast and then altering the exposure values it doesn't seem to have the same pleasant effect but I mean that actually didn't look too bad <laughs> having said that um, but what I would say is play around with that at least you know just to see what what you think about it um, first of all um, and to see whether it's something that you would find interesting to use and you know beneficial all I've done incidentally here is uh, I've clicked on the photograph <coughs> excuse me collect um, continue to press and hold the uh, mouse button just to give me a hundred percent view yeah a bit noisy but you know once it's printed it's fine 
And for now, I'm done. Ten minutes. Thank you.